Hey guys, how are you? It's me again. Um, today I'm going to show you how I normally do my curls using my Dyson Arab styler. It's been a while since I did vlog something, so I'm really excited about this. And um, I'm super, super in love with my new curler. I mean, I had it a while ago, but I have been using it since last summer. So I'm going to show you some tricks and techniques on how to make the most of your dyes and arrow. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do after washing my hair is to prep it for a curl. So for me, I have a very... Um, natural curly hair. It's really kinky so there's going to be a lot of frizz involved. So I would need a detangler first thing and for most before styling my hair. Right now, For my mousse, I am using the same brand. It's from Mark Anthony Professionals. And again, it's not, it's, it's very inexpensive at all. Hindi siya super mahal. And you can almost get this anywhere. Like, I think I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. And maybe you can get this in like, maybe, you know, CVS, drugstore. It's, it's literally like drugstore product. So, it's probably like under $10. So, go ahead. And like, do it like that. There. And what I normally like is to put it here. Like that. It's very messy. But um, I try to put a lot on your roots and not really. I am done prepping my hair. We've already detangled it and um, now again I have a new curl mousse. And I've also parted it the very way that I like it. Yung parang in this side, di ko na hatin hair ko kasi nga ang laki ng noo ko. So you know, I have a very big forehead. So I want to like as much as possible cover it with my hair. <laughs> There's no denying in that. So yeah. So ngayon we're almost ready to curl and we're almost ready to start um, styling our hair. So yeah, also I want to emphasize that if you have the air up, if you're using the Dyson air up, it's very important that you work on uh, kind of like dump hair because you know, it's a purpose. Niya. It's very nice on like dump hair. Not really soaking wet, but um, not too dry. It's just like you know, normally just dump your hair. I'm going to go ahead and section my hair. And I don't know how you section your hair, but this is how I do it. So I have um, an entirely... Um, you know, a separate section in this part. Yeah, normally, like that's not gonna it. And I'm not using professional hair clips here. I'm just using this one. Well, meron kayo yung professional na parang clip talaga. That would work as well. But, uh, well, it really works. But for me, yung ganito clips na ginagamit ko. And, you know, it still works. So, first is like, yung side na to, it will be, um, a different section. And then, on this part, I'm gonna go ahead and put it like this. So, this will be one section. And then so I'm gonna go clip this section right here and kinda hahayan lang natin sila. So you can go ahead and rest. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start with this um, attachment right here. So the Dyson Era comes with a lot of attachments. I'm not gonna show you what the box look like because you know, hindi naman ito unboxing video is, you know, I'm gonna probably do another vlog for that. I don't know. But yeah, this is the first thing that I normally do when I want to achieve the curls. So, the, um, so one, yeah, there would be like, you know, there would be like um, different buttons. So this one would be for the temperature. You want like high or low or, you know, like cold. And this is like parang setting ng fan. So like high, low, or, you know, and ito yung power button, yeah. So this is the first attachment that you use, parang brush. So what I do is just like parang, I know I already brushed my hair and I already like put the tumbler and everything, but I kind of like want to brush it with these attachments. That way my hair is smooth and when I curl it, parang ano siya, mellow na siya. Yung parang it already holds shape and um, kind of thin, not thin, kind of fine na siya. So first one is um, you have to make sure that when you're curling, it's going to be like away from your face. So the barrels are usually um, very, very efficient because they already have like an arrow that, you know, it points you to what direction the curl is going to be. So just like use this one, you know, away the face. Mo. 
Yeah. So as you can see guys, I am not filming on a vanity mirror. I live in New York City and my space is very limited so I don't have the luxury of a vanity mirror. Or like a vanity space. So yeah, so now I'm gonna go start working on my curls. So we already put like the attachment in Big Barrel and we just gonna go ahead and like get one part of this section right here. And I'd like to start with the hot um, temperature, so naka hot in setting yeah. And we're just gonna go ahead. So how the air up normally works is you don't have to keep twisting the curler. You just like get at least maybe two or three inches or like half of your hair and like put it in the barrel. But and then it would like normally, you know, para kita sa na and then para you na. It will do it work. <laughs> but for me, I would need to like, you know, tame my hair and make sure that the ends are in the barrel. Para, so that way when I go ahead and pull it on top, the hat na ano. So remember this is in like high, like the heat isn't high. So you wanna start working on like a high heat. Like you know, your temperature niya dapat is hot. So you wanna start working on that. And normally 15 seconds is good, but for my hair, it's really thick. And you know, it's not like the most manageable hair. So I usually go for like at least 20 seconds. So. All right, so it's very important that after using, after 20 seconds or like, you know, if you feel like your hair is like hot now and in the barrel, it's very important that you blast it with cold air because that would help like the curl stay in place. So that would um, help the curl hold its form. So yeah, ngayon naka adi na siya. Naka, what you call this? Naka hold name setting niya. So we're just gonna do that for like 10 more seconds. And then, let's count one. And after 10 seconds, you can turn it off. So you just have to press this, like pull this button down. And voila, you have your curl. Alright, and then just like, you know, keep doing it with the remaining, um, yung natitira sa section na to. So, yeah. Now that the section is all done, we already, um, we're gonna go ahead and put hair spray on it, on it so that way the curls would last long and it would hold its shape. So um, I'm using the Sebastian Shaper. This one is also very inexpensive. I think you can almost just get it almost anywhere. But no, I think it's, I don't know if they have it in drugstores or anything, but um, this one is really good because it will hold the shape, but at the same time, it's not very stiff on the hair. So I love that. So we're just gonna go spray it. crunch it like that so the hot melon so since we're working on the opposite side I'm gonna go change the barrel and um, change it with the one that's going this side like you know away from the face so I'm gonna go attach it hi so I know I already changed the barrel earlier but I forgot that on this side I still have to go ahead and use this attachment that way smooth shot and you know it's kind of like prepping it for before um, using the curl so the curling barrel so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and kind of just like smooth our hair for like two to five seconds. Not that long because you don't want to have it too dry and lose all the moisture. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, I know that the Dyson Era is really kind of pricey. And, you know, it's not normally how, I would, how much I would spend on a curling product. But it's almost half of what I pay in rent every month. But I find this product really worth it because for me, I have um, I have very damaged hair before because um, I've been using a lot of curlers, like you know, just like cheap curlers. And no, they're probably cheap, but it works very good as well. But um, over the time, they tend to like cause damage in my hair. So I'm not saying it's because of the product I use. Maybe it's just because of my hair. But um, I've been spending um, maybe like $50 in curlers and if you're like buying maybe like five of them or like six of them in the span of two years, so it's still gonna be equivalent to like the price you're paying 
for the guys in Arab. And this product you can like keep for like 10, 15 years if you just take care of it. So I feel like even if it's kinda in a pricier range, it's still worth it. So Bakanaman Dyson Chada. Alright, so I think it's more than 15 seconds now, so we're gonna go ahead and blast the cold air. And look. Shake, 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 and spray it on a good distance away from your face because you don't want your eyes to get hairspray. We're just trying to curl our hair and not get blind. Alright, so we are done smoothing this part of the section right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try um, curling this part of the section. So for this part, I'm gonna use the small barrel because I've already used the big barrels on the previous part. So that way, my curl will have like dimension. So kind of like, yung deep enough part is big curls, and yung deep enough part is like small curls. Not really small, but like a beach wave. So I feel like that really creates a nice effect on the overall um, look of the curl. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So again, we're gonna do the same procedure. We're gonna go get a little bit of that and like put this side. Emo <laughs> kamuna besh. Like this, and then we're gonna start with a hot temperature. So the next thing that we're gonna do, since we have this um, part here covered, we're gonna go ahead and like make a section on the opposite side and curl it the same way. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and work on this side right here. And since we used a small barrel on this side, the opposite side, we're gonna use the same size of barrel for this side right here. So that way your curls will have like even and kind of like uniform dimensions. Sorry, the sirens are blaring. Yep. I'm not sure what's going on. Yep, every day. Just like that. Welcome to New York City. Alright you guys, so as you can see, we're almost done curling our hair. Well, not yet, but this side is almost done. So we're gonna go ahead and work on the side now. And normally this would be the last section for this side, but I'm gonna go ahead and kinda like do another little section. Yeah, just like that. And I'm gonna save this little section right here. I'm gonna show you later what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna go start working with this section right here. Alright guys, so as you can see, we're almost done on our curls and our style for today. And we've all pretty much curled each side, um, except for this one. This would be the final section. And for the final section, um, I would do something different. Instead of using the bar first, I'm going to go ahead and use the blow dry attachment which is and then it's gonna go like that. Yeah. So now Alright guys, so I'm pretty much done curling and styling my hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just um, put some hairspray just to like you know help it hold the curls. For some finishing touches, what I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab the detangler that I used earlier and just like spray it all over. That way, I will have, especially on the roots of your hair because we never really like iron our hair prior to like curling it. So there's still gonna be like baby hair popping out or like some freeze that we did not eliminate a while ago. So I find it really helpful to just spray the detangler all over that way you can still have like a smooth finish. So, you know, just like that. All right, so pretty much this is done. We've already like achieved the curls that I want, but um, the thing is this is not the style that I usually prefer, but it's just as fine. I like this curl, I like this look. It's like playful and less uptight, but if you want like a less um, pronounced curl or like, you know, you kind of just want to melt it down, what I usually do is I take my pile brush and just like start combing 
right here. guys thank you so much for watching and again this is um, just how I curl my hair you know there's a lot of different ways you can do your hair but for me this is how I normally make use of my Dyson era and this is how I maximize all of the um, attachments um, but again it's all up to you and I hope this like you know helped you and give you some tips and advice and like you know just kind of like give you an idea how you can um, make use of your Dyson era. Yeah, you can always like achieve this curl using like you know normal curlers or like you know less pricey curlies up there. I have personally owned a lot of like um, inexpensive curlers and I've used them in the past and they all works just as fine. The only thing is it caused a lot of damage to my hair. Um, I'm not saying it's it's because of the product, there's a lot of factors involved in that. Maybe my hair is just really vulnerable to, you know, damages and all. But again, I'm not saying that Dyson is the only way to achieve this um, curl. But if you have the Dyson, then this tricks and this technique might be a little bit helpful. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.